in this video we are going to discuss a problem related to sampling frequency so here you can observe the problem if a signal having frequency components from 0 to 10 hertz is sampled at 10 hertz then resultant is so if a signal is having frequency components from 0 to 10 hertz means it's having frequency components like 0 1 hertz 2 hertz 3 hertz up to minimum frequency is 0 maximum frequency is 10 hertz this is the meaning of this point a signal is having minimum frequency component 0 maximum frequency component 10 hertz for example if that type of signal is there that is sampled at 10 hertz sampled at sampled at rate or something is nothing but fs that means sampling frequency is given that is called as sampling frequency if the frequency if the signal having frequency components from 0 to 10 hertz is sampled with 10 hertz signal that means 10 hertz pulse train then the resultant signal is so you are having some options so they given fs is equal to 10 hertz and fm is equal to maximum frequency component maximum frequency component in message so here so message means here you can observe they given frequency components of your signal which you want to sample is from 0 to 10 in 0 to 10 the maximum frequency component is 10 h so here your fm is also 10 h so that this is sampled at a rate 10 h they are saying that means so you need to follow fs and fm relation so your fs is equal to fm if you observe your fs is equal to fm if you consider 2 fm so this fs is less than 2 fm so these two values of your fs and fm follows fs less than 2 fm condition which will satisfy fs less than 2 fm condition i already told you in case of fs less than 2 fm your spectrum of sampled signal will be like this your spectrum of sampled signal will be like this you will get aliasing effect so the resultant signal is a highly distorted signal or highly aliased signal why because your signal if you consider fs like this is satisfying under sampling condition in under sampling you are going to get aliasing effect so the answer for this is so you will get highly aliased signal or highly distorted signal for this type of uh, sampling we can't reconstruct your original message signal back perfectly so in this type of cases i already told you why we can't uh, we uh, cannot reconstruct perfectly means you can see to reconstruct any signal the process is so here you are having summation of message spectra as your sampled spectra so in this you need to consider one spectrum and that spectrum if you consider inverse Fourier transform then you are going to get your message signal but here to consider to pick one spectrum that is typical if you want to cut here another spectrum is also coming some vestige of another spectrum is also coming then what will happen means you are going to get another signal components also in reconstruction that will become noise to your original signal so the signal with the condition fs less than 2 fm will be a highly aliased signal then you can say your sampled signal is definitely a highly aliased signal so you can go for this option so this is also very important case of your sampling so you will get so many problems related to this topic also that means under sampling aliasing topic so to remove this uh, uh, effect aliasing effect to overcome this effect you need to use anti aliasing filters or you need to make fs greater than 2 fm just by changing your train frequency so you are giving by oscillators just by using oscillators in practical you are going to give you a sample train and etc and etc by just changing by increasing the sample frequency then you are going to remove this effect in future